Rain or shine, it's here to make you laugh. It's the Steamboat Comedy Podcast. It's the Steamboat Comedy Podcast. And now your host, Kyle Ruff. Get out of here. Welcome back to Pajama Cast. Where no one could be wearing work clothes, even a guy who just came from work. <laughs> I can literally go to work in pajama pants and no one would say yeah. a thing. I wish I could do that because I would do it every single day. <laughs> yeah. I, I mean, really like jeans. A lot of people are doing that now in the pandemic. Yeah, no kidding. Yeah. I mean, work te- from home, te- fuck it. Technically, okay, so there's a, there's a two-person. We're recording, right? Yeah, it's yeah. just going. Right. There's a, there's a, there's a two-man, uh, like, I, I'm hesitant to call them a sketch group or an improv group. There's a comedy duo called the pajama men um who are huge every they're from arizona i believe they're huge everywhere except the united states really and they're goddamn fucking brilliant they're the amazing pajama men? yeah but they wear pajamas on their their, their 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 stage outfit is pajamas like old school you know what i'm saying like, like with yeah. the butt flap and yeah no, yeah no 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 like old school like like button down shirt oh yeah yeah, yeah. okay i got you yeah. yeah like the yeah. little cap yeah no <laughs> you know? shoes and I and it seems like the whole, the whole thing is that like the show they present is like a dream sequence and it's like a but it's fucking genius and they play a thousand characters between the two of them and it's never ending and there's callbacks and it's and that there's a, awesome. and there's a dude a third of a guy in the corner he's got like a guitar and like a maybe like a little kick drum and like one other small instrument and he's just providing ambient music the whole time <laughs> dude they're be that guy they are brilliant <laughs> anyway that's so pretty cool they wear their pajamas to work that's my point but then when you <laughs> but then when your pajamas become your work clothes what you know it ceases to be pajamas brother yeah at that point right? it's just a suit <laughs> fuck my suit consists Mind of blown. ripped vulcan jeans and a dirty sweatshirt <laughs> mine consists of Shirts and ties that have all been like stained by like food getting spilled on it seven hundred times to the point where they're probably more food than actual clothes at this point. Yeah, because I can't afford new clothes. All right, welcome to the Steamboat Comedy <laughs> Podcast, everybody. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm your host yet again, Kyle Ruff, joined by across the table, Mr. Jared Morrill. Say hello. What's going on, people? And special guests, Mr. Sean Patton and Miss Caitlin Cook. Hello. I believe I've already established my voice. <laughs> you know what it is. <laughs> you guys definitely, by the way, have like, you fit, you both have like very, like, if you were action figures, I can already see the accessories. <laughs> you, you know what, what? I mean? Because what what like, kind of gear? Like, because Kyle, Kyle's a skier. Yeah. Right. And, mm. you, and you're and you're a, you, 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 you like dress like a skier, you're like Michigan sweatshirt, <laughs> you know, and like ball cap and like jeans that fit and like <laughs> like comfortable like comfortable yet uh like comfortable yet what's what's the word i'm looking for like purposeful shoes <laughs> like these are comfortable but i could also if i had to climb up a not a mountain but a hill and prob- probably a mountain <laughs> if, if i need yeah. to yeah and i'm a skier and uh my marijuana personality type is definitely a hybrid heavier on the i think i'd say heavier on the indica because you're chill and then Jared, you're like, you know, ponytail, beard, big, big gauges, you know, f- everything you own has a hoodie on it. Yeah. Even your pants. Yeah. <laughs> your pants somehow have a hood. You've it's got right under the ass. footwear. Yeah. It's just a <laughs> footwear. It's just like a myriad of vans. Yep. Yeah. Just like with the back kind of folded in because you just put them on, you know, just jam my foot into them. Got your snowboard <laughs> and your marijuana. Actually, I'm a flip. Your marijuana type is Kyle's. Yours, you're more of a. Indica chill Yeah Kyle you probably got A little more sativa A little more sativa in there But like I could see you Both just like Steamboat comedy And like all the accessories (laughs) Jared definitely comes With a snowboard Kyle definitely comes With skis (laughs) Uh, You definitely come With like a a, Wait 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 Like a fucking I forgot what I was Going to say Oh yeah some weights (laughs) <laughs> you definitely got some like mild weights because you're like a guy who lifts weights, but you seem sort of like I'm humble about it. I'm not. Yeah, just really... small ones. Yeah, yeah. Keep it fit, Jared. I mean, you probably I, I don't know what your hobby. The, a guitar. There you go. You've probably. got a musical instrument that you yeah. can kind of play that's out of tune, but that doesn't matter. Exactly. Yeah, yeah that's about right. <laughs> it's that's fucking what, amazing. I want to make life. you guys just action heroes now. Please. I'd probably need some kind of like a joint or a bong oh, or yeah. something. A bong. Yeah. It, they both come with. Oh yeah, yeah, definitely a bong. Yeah. Like a bong, you can like. <laughs> Oh, actually, here's the thing. All of your accessories are bongs. 
Yeah. They're, they can all I be can good. smoke my snowboard. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it just has the, the bong attachment. On yeah. The end. yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's, we need more merch. So I got to look into the Steamboat Comedy action figure line here. Uh, dude, we got to call up. China. They'll be all over it. <laughs> can it hit up wish.com? Do you have, uh, do you have China's phone number? Yeah. Yeah. Be, <laughs> yeah. Just call yeah. China. Yeah. You got to let it ring. All, it's just plus 26 China. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> and then you get the uh, female pro wrestler from the 90s, China. Yeah. yeah. From the grave. <laughs> from the grave. Is she dead? Isn't she? Oh, I have no idea. I'm pretty sure, yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty well, sure she died like eight years ago. Yeah, I mean, she was so full of roids, I bet her heart was the size of a basketball. So Has she... anybody here ever done roids? No. No. Caitlin? <laughs> <laughs> you were kind of quiet morning. on that Every morning. Every morning. <laughs> you prefer the pills, the shot? What do you go with? Mm, I like to crush the pills and smoke them. Just blow just lines start of my day. I'm not, I'm <laughs> not steroids, Galen. You're thinking of ketamine. Mm. <sighs> Very similar. Both great performance-enhancing drugs. They both make you think your balls are smaller. <laughs> I can honestly and say. They are. Uh, and going, they are. Going, they are. Going to high school, Slidell, Louisiana, 70%. I'm going to say 70% of the dudes I know did at least one cycle of steroids. Really? really? Probably 30% of them did it for a while. Really? Yeah, roids were big in Louisiana in the ni- late 90s. Yeah. There, there's one kid that I still am pretty confident he did steroids in high school because I'd make fun of him all the time. His arms were like fucking barrels, but he was like 5'7". Yeah. <laughs> and he'd have to answer the phone with one hand and cross over to the other yeah. ear. Because oh, no. he, literally he couldn't get back far enough. And I was uh, like, dude, how many fucking pills do you eat a day? Like, <laughs> come on, man. That's not yeah, natural. Dude. Yeah. I mean, the uh, Winstrol. Shout out to Winstrol, the sponsor of this episode. That's a, that's a steroid. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, I think it's called Winstrol. That's why a bear, a bear is always my favorite land mammal because they don't look ripped. They're all like flubbery just, and like. Yeah. But they can like punch through concrete. Yeah. yeah so like, they can pull a tree out of the ground. Yeah, yeah. They could. Yeah. They could. There's like there's all the like there's all these. Uh, I've never seen any of these because I would never watch shit like this because it would fuck my head up. But I know they exist because I've had the conversations about uh, video, early videos uh, from like the 19th century of like trappers pitting like bears against tigers. Yeah. Like, oh, yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. The like, bears always win. Well, no, apparently when it's against the tiger, though, eight times out of ten, the tiger just is way too fast. Okay. And, like fucks the bear up, but the other two times it's like a one swipe job. Like, oh yeah, where the bear just gets a clean hit and just the, the tiger's just immediately like dead <laughs> well, because bears are that strong, but they don't yeah. look it. Whereas no. a tiger looks right. You yeah. can, like see yeah. the muscles. You're and like, shit. oh, yeah. that thing's gonna fuck my day up. Yeah, yeah. That, that that that. Oh god, I, I don't think I could watch one of those videos. Like, no, that'd be like nah, that'd be gross. Yeah. I wouldn't want to. But see I like knowing the bears are legit. Fuck yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they're. Uh, you always want the bear on your side. You're in a bar <laughs> fight. I'm just saying. Exactly, yeah. But enough about M.K. Paulson. Yeah. Um, <laughs> hey, Shout out. Transition to Desperation Day 3, yeah. which was just completed, which was our fantastic two-day, four-show event, Steamboat Whiskey it Company. It was an event. Yeah, it was It was event. quite the event. It was a comedy event. There were some eventful things that yeah, happened yeah. there, too. Yeah, holy shit. Yeah, so like, since you guys are here, I just kind of wanted to uh, see how you thought the whole thing went, kind of do a little recap on it. Yeah. Um, I think as a whole, it was a guy. It was a massive success. Yeah. Oh yeah, eleven out of ten. Oh, thank you. Oh, yeah, yeah. Was, we. I, I'll even say I think we should go play by play here because like, from the moment we got here Thursday night, uh-huh. and we immediately commenced like, and everybody, if you're into comedy, you know it's the it's a ritual that whenever the comedians, and the comedians producing the shows and the comedians doing the shows, when they when we come into town, it's ritual to get completely and unreasonably shit faced. Yep. Mm-hmm. You know? There's a lot of that in this event. I think that weekend. you were handed a beer before you even like put your suitcase in the room. I was legitimately 100% and you know how much I hate the misuse of this word but I'm going to go with it literally. Yeah. <laughs> I was I was I was rolling my suitcase into the room we were staying in yeah. and Corey David uh, who is the son of Larry David. Yes. Yeah. Uh, uh, Corey David just was like Hand, he handed me a beer yeah and i was just like oh yeah i guess i'll drink this on the way to put my stuff where i'm staying yeah, <laughs> yeah Corey. now he yeah. does a podcast rotating tap 
where he goes to breweries. Mm -hmm. So the guy is just always like packing beers and like yeah. beer swag all over the place. I mean, he literally rides a Sierra Nevada snowboard. Yeah, and is, has a Sierra Nevada <laughs> goggles. Too. Yeah, yeah, which I was like, no fucking way, dude. That's rad. Yeah, <laughs> but he he could probably also like physically dominate most people. Yes, he's, yeah. a, he's a very part, fit yeah. boy. He's yeah, very, he is. Just it goes to show you that you can you can chug fucking double IPAs regularly and still have. And I, you could chug a six pack and have a six pack. <laughs> That's my point, right? You know, the old double. They call that the twelve pack technique. But yeah, we got fucking wasted, and then Kyle, you were like, "Oh, I got to, I got to swing by the venue to set it up." Oh yeah. And I remember like, "We're all coming." <laughs> <laughs> well, we should all be there to get in your way and annoy the staff. <laughs> yeah, they loved it. I missed that night. Is that what happened? Yeah. A little bit. Wait, where, yes, oh, yeah, that's you, exactly what happened. Uh, Jared was being a good boyfriend and hanging out with. With that's, the lady. That's yeah. what you're doing. Yeah. Unless you don't want me to tell the listeners that you're a spoken for man. No, I don't care. Okay, because all the sex appeal. That's yeah. that this, 90% of this podcast I, is sex appeal. I was going to say, the best part about this podcast is no one can see my face. <laughs> <laughs> you got a great face for radio. Yeah, yeah dude. <laughs> I got a voice for nothing. I, I've said, I said this to you last night. I'm going to say it again for the listeners. Jared, most some people have resting bitch face or resting asshole face. Jared has resting. I just got good news, but it hasn't been 100% confirmed yet, so I can't say anything about it. Just this moment face. Yeah. Which is a great face. It's like, I have a good secret. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. right? You're nope. like, guys, when I can tell you about this, you're going to love yeah. it. But right now, I'm just going to enjoy it to myself. I legit, <laughs> I legit told my friend at work that this morning. Yeah. And yeah. she was like, that's so fucking accurate. Yeah, yeah. I was like, I know. Yeah. <laughs> just because I'm always stoned. So I'm just. Uh. I remember the moment I met you guys, which was the first, the last episode we were on this podcast. Yeah. yeah. When I walked in and met you all, that was the first thing I thought about you, but couldn't put it in words yet. Where I was like, but I remember thinking like, this guy knows something that I. Know. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> You're like waiting for a surprise the whole time. Yeah. Like like a kind of thing was like, hey man, thanks for coming to do the podcast. By the way, we just got we just won five million dollars. Yeah, and we're going to cut you in. Yeah, right. <laughs> and here's a bar of gold. Yeah, Welcome. You didn't in. have to be here. You didn't have to come do this podcast. So here you guys go. 600 grand fuck it <laughs> <laughs> it's just funny that that's been put into context because like uh my ex-girlfriend from fucking years ago i remember the first thing she said to me when she met me she goes there's just something with like your eyes like it just like you're, you're like you're waiting to say something and i was like what yeah like, what the fuck are you talking about and that just perfectly explained it yep. and she wasn't wrong right <laughs> perfect yeah we set up the venue you were yes there. yeah Mm -hmm. uh, but that is that is what happened. Like Sean was um, on stage with a fake microphone, pretending to do impressions of other comedians. Yeah. And the staff, <laughs> like at some point, he got really loud, and the staff was like, "Whoa, lower the volume. Yeah, it's been, been a, a really day, long man. day." Yeah, it's been sorry, sorry, day. sorry. Yeah, Kyle's running around moving all the tables around while with I just tape watched. measures. Yeah. I didn't help at all. He's like, I'm Sean. <laughs> yeah. Well, event but eventually Corey and I did help you move couches and shit. Yeah, which I yeah. appreciate. I don't want the listeners to be like, wow, this Sean guy sucks. Like, what an ass. <laughs> no, you helped. I did not help. <laughs> did not help. You were just like, where's the whiskey? And I was like, here it is. And I ran it over and then went back to moving cables. And then I slapped you in the face. And I was like, thank you. <laughs> like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this is what you get in exchange. A kick in the nuts. Now go back to work. <laughs> so we did that. Uh, yeah. Then, Thursday then, night. Well then, well then, uh, well then also was thrown in, and then I all woke up the next day at seven thirty. Like yeah. that was smart. Like, hey, let's go <laughs> get on a mountain. Yes. And have be defeated physically by <laughs> ninety minutes into it. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Which that's the other thing about Corey David, because you get up there. I, he was like my. He was the guy I went up on the mountain with, and it was like, oh, you're also excellent at this snowboarding thing. Yeah. Because it's like a, it's like watching. It was like watching someone shoot a, a fucking video. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. How much he was just leaping and twisting and catching things. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Catching things. Catching things. You know, specifically the things strapped to his feet. But yeah. <laughs> no one's throwing footballs at him, just launching 90, <laughs> uh, 90 yarders on the mountain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kids are trying to throw snowballs yeah. at him. He just catches them. Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't man, even look. Man catches anything, bro. You throw a tantrum, he'll catch it. <laughs> <laughs> if you have COVID, he'll catch it. Yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah, so that was what we were ripping all day. Yeah. Stopped in, got some lunch too. You, uh, you and Shane took some lessons, and yeah. Shane had a great time. Uh, was really loving it. Yeah, Shane loved loved doing that so much. He <laughs> snowboarded the next day for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. he totally went out. Yeah, 
He didn't yes. go out at all. No. Yeah. He was no. like, I don't ever want to do this again. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, and then uh, Sean was ripping so hard. He was trying to do a double backflip. A double back. I was, I was trying to do a, I was trying to do a I thought it was back a tri- flip with a rotating twist. Oh, yeah, I was going to say, was. I thought it was a triple cork. Yeah, yeah. triple cork. Yeah. It's the twist. That's what gets yeah. you. And I, that's Because I had, because that was the thing. You were like, can you do a cork? And I'm like, oh, I call it a helicork. Because of the helicopter, yeah, naturally, yeah, and then, and then we East got Coast land, yeah, and then yeah. someone else. Got, exactly, I'm I'm from the smaller, darker mountains. That's the that's the uh, slang term in the New Orleans ski scene, I believe. Exactly, yeah. dude. We're big ripping. ski scene. The 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 helicork, bro. <laughs> helicork, and he landed on his head. Landed on my head. Got a concussion. Yeah, kind of. And take him to uh, well, it's, ski it's, patrol it's weird because like I, I what what actually happened was, and I have full memory of it in some ways now, but I was I was coming up on a slow sign. Like one of those like signs yeah, yeah, slow. Yeah, yeah. I was coming up and I was already going pretty fucking slow. The reason I was heading we were leaving the mountain. Yeah. Corey and I, because I was like, I physically am too I got too shit faced last night, no water in my system. I can't do it yeah. anymore. And I was coming up on a slow sign and there was a guy in a, a ski patrol guy that you guys call a sharpshooter. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. The yeah. camera guy. Yeah, yeah taking, get you. taking pictures. Yep. Yep. And I saw him and saw the sign and tried to like I what I think happened. Was slow up on my heels and I caught an edge, oh. but somehow fell back. Like I felt the board came out from under me. It slipped out. Or I guess I yeah. caught ice, maybe. Oh yeah, yeah. You probably oh, caught ice. Yeah. But in the moment, I like my head never hurt. It never. I, I never had any pain. It. It. All I. All I know is I hit my head hard enough. This should just. I fell back and hit my head hard enough that the goggles. The ski goggles I was wearing. The lenses shot out of me. <laughs> yeah. It's not a good sign. <laughs> yeah, and I was uh, disoriented and confused and uh, knew where I was, knew who I was, which is great because even right now, totally conscious, I don't know who the fuck, who am I? Right? <laughs> you know, I'm trying to fucking figure that out every day. Knew all the essentials, but like had trouble remembering the day. That yeah. was the one thing where I was like, I can't remember the date for like 10 minutes and I did remember the date. Yeah. But yeah, I had to go to the hospital. That was a, and then like when they when I after the C, the cat scan they were like good news no brain bleeding no bruising but also you shouldn't go back up on the mountain or drink booze and you're and like, like that's fuck. all I came here to do nah. <laughs> I didn't drink that first night and then yeah when I did go back up on the mountain but I was super but also they said it in a way that was like we get it you're probably gonna yeah we just kind of have to as like, medical probably should have yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. because you don't have any signs of a concussion but. You'd probably had a mild one if you forgot you couldn't remember the date for ten minutes. Yeah, I was like, all right, fair enough. I mean, does that mean I'm concussed all the time? I'd never know what fucking yeah, day, I was about day to say. it is. <laughs> yeah, really. I just know I work today. <laughs> <laughs> Caitlin, what's the date today? It's the twenty second of February. It's a Monday. Oh shit. Okay. Yeah. That's good to know. <laughs> I didn't even know that. Well, then there you go. She's uh. <laughs> she's on point. She's on point here. The rest of us are fucking losers. The rest of us are concussed. Kind of thought it was Tuesday because I went to work yesterday too. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that, so going into the show, the first shows that night in that state was like, all right, let's see how this goes. Yeah, <laughs> and definitely by the second, the second show, I remember towards the end, like talking to you and Shane, everyone was just like, dude, I'm exhausted. Yeah, yeah. And I was like, we're, we're almost really there, tired. guys. Yeah, yeah. And we were so exhausted through the show that, of course, then we came back to the house and got even more hammered until two in the morning because yep. that's what yes. you do when you're tired at nine. Uh, well, that's, that's the thing about I don't. I wonder if there's any other business like this because this has happened to me a lot where you're going. You're, it's before a show. You've been traveling all day, or you've been doing a week of shows, or whatever it is, and you're just fucking wiped. But you're like, all right, I'm gonna do this one set. And get through this, and I'm going right back to the hotel slash place I'm staying, and getting a night of sleep. Yep. And then you do the show, and it's good. Yeah. And your immediate reaction is like, well, "I want to conquer the world." Yeah. Yep. Party time. No. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's just the adrenaline. I don't know. Yeah, like when I drove 14 hours from Illinois to South Carolina to my dad's house, and I was, and I got hammered the night before this long ass drive. I get to my dad's house. He's like, "You want to go to bed?" I'm like, "No, dude. Let's go to the bar. I'm hungry and I need <laughs> beers." Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like. I'm, I conquered all this interstate. Yeah. <laughs> yes. I am the road warrior. Yeah, I drove 1,200 miles today. Let's let's go calm down somewhere else. Well, so that, funny. in case you're wondering, if you don't do comedy, that's what a good set feels like, driving 1,200 miles. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> but in the span of 10 minutes to an hour. Yes. Yeah. So, so flying. I'm basically saying that comedy feels like fucking flying, man. <laughs> <laughs> Getting so deep here. I, can't wait to get my wings. 
But yeah, that, so but those first two shows, I remember like the first show was kind of across the board, a, like they were a a more a very docile audience. Yeah, yeah. it was very a slow good. start because yeah. like my myself, so I opened and started all the shows, and then our buddy Matt Newland came on after me, and for both of us, it was like a struggle to get through. But it kind of it, it, everyone was into it. It's one of those things where everyone's like watching. They're kind of like, ah, oh. yeah, they give you the yeah. smile and nod rather yeah. than a laugh, and you're like, yep. oh, okay. It's not quite the same. Yeah, it's yeah. like, come on, let it but, go. Yeah. You're good. Mm-hmm. But then it went, I think the rest of that show went very well. Yeah, it was yeah. a good show, yeah. Yeah. Uh, and then, the, I don't think anything crazy happened in that one. Uh, but then no. the second show, second show the first night was killer. I think that might yeah. have been my favorite show. It was up there. Yeah. Uh, MK Paulson blew the fucking roof mm-hmm. off the place. Yeah. That show. <laughs> Uh, and that's unreal. not a double entendre. He he, he literally he got. <laughs> yeah. It wasn't a guy named the Roof that yeah, he blew. Yeah, yeah he got uh, down on one knee for that. He, was the, he, was, he wasn't the. He was, I was. I used to wrestle with the Rock. I was the Roof. We yeah. We're going to be a tag team. Dude. Yeah. <laughs> it, it wasn't that guy who looked exactly like the Rock. The Rock and the Roof. The Rock and the Roof, baby. <laughs> no, MK. Yeah, MK metaphorically brought the house down. Yes, yeah. indeed. Yeah, yeah. The, uh, to use yeah. Sean's word, he massacred. Yeah, he, yes. He actually he splayed the audience out like deer. <laughs> yeah. Gave him the blood eagle. Yeah, it was pretty great. Was pretty Only great. one slice too. It was crazy. Yeah, pretty great set. <laughs> yeah, um, it was great. And then, I mean, everybody did well too. Uh, Shane killed mm-hmm. also that yeah. night as well. Um, yeah, I don't know. What else? Any other remarkable things happened? What do you guys remember from that first first night of shows? Well, the first one was just like. Rocky. It was my first show of, of the year, so yeah. I was like very nervous, um, but still fun. And then the second show was a blast. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. I think everyone afterwards was like, "I can't keep my eyes open." <laughs> yeah, we're yeah. dragging ass. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. What do you think? I'm trying to. I'm trying to. Uh, yeah, I felt like the first night was very. Uh, it was almost a. It. It was a predictable night where it was like. The early show was going to be a little tight because early shows tend to, on certain days, be the tighter show. Yeah. And the second show was a little, they felt like they had to be reined in a little bit. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And that's the thing. As a comic, I pref- I will always prefer a dead audience that you have to wake up versus a rowdy audience that you, you have, have to, to rein in. Yeah. yeah. I will always prefer, I would like, let me, if, if they're kind of dead and tight, I will take that over. Oh, they're kind of drunk and not listening. Yeah, yeah, that's kind of sure. wrangling audience is a fucking hassle. Well, it's also it's babysitting. Like, that, yeah. that's the thing. I feel like the reason I prefer this is because yes, it is probably easier to wrangle an audience than it is to wake one up. Wake one up, mm-hmm. because wrangling an audience requires a lot of like. It's volume. It's crowd work. I'm not yeah. saying any of this shit is easy. It's oh, all yeah. it's all very difficult. But there's like a there's a there's a I guess a roadmap. For, but you gotta kind of play like you're dealing with children. You can't really yes. get that creative. With yeah, it. you can. You can get creative with anything. But I feel yeah. like generally, like the 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 steps you have to take to wrangle in an audience versus like I feel like when you have to wake an audience up, there are no you can do whatever you can get as get as creative as you want. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Do whatever the fuck you think you have to do. Push the envelope. Do bits that you don't know if they've you've never actually done. <laughs> in front of an audience if you yeah. have to. Yeah. Just make like, some shit up. Just, and, get, yeah. just anything to like, and like I love, part of me loves that feeling of being the, being on a show and being like, all right, this audience is dead and then being the one that pops them. Yeah. Because, mm-hmm. because, but that was the thing. The first night was tight show, rowdy show. And then the second the night. The second night. <laughs> defied all expectations. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Holy shit. Yeah. Oh man. Yeah, the second show, but, talking about babysitting. I mean, even yeah. the, so the first show was insane. We'll get that in a second. Well, here's the thing: the set at every club across the nation, mm. the general consensus is that the best show is always the early Saturday show. Yeah, I don't agree with that. I think the best shows are always the Thursday night, Sunday night shows. Okay. I always think weeknight audiences are better than weekend audiences Cause because it's more like they're coming more specifically for something. Exactly. Than like, yeah. Let's yeah. Just they're do... not like it's the weekend. I'm gonna get really drunk, yeah. maybe too drunk to go to a comedy show, but I'm right. still gonna go. Right. right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I love we. I lo- and I. Hey, if you're a weekend audience person, love you. <laughs> you uh, can still come to our show. Maybe shows. Yeah. don't get fucking like six drink shit face before you show up. Yeah. <laughs> you don't need to pregame. You need a to kind show. of. No, yeah. you don't. You don't need yeah. to do it. Um. <laughs> 
but yeah, usually the Saturday early show, everyone's like, oh, that's the best show. So like going into this, I was like, oh, I wonder if that will apply here. Yeah. And it did not Ooh, at all. Nelly. Yeah. yeah. It actually, it started out, so the early Saturday show, I thought it started out pretty smooth, a little yeah. rowdy. Um, yeah. But just tell the whole story. So there's a table right in front. Uh, it was actually two tables. It was a party of eight, four guys, four girls who sat separately. The guys were right in front of the stage. Yeah. Uh, they were all from New Jersey. Big red flag. Yeah. Um, Wait a minute. Those two tables were together? Yes. Yeah, that's why they all left at the same time. Yeah. That oh. Was, it was the boyfriends and the girlfriends. Nelly. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I did not. I thought, okay, well, get, get to it. Well, I entered. Okay, yeah, yeah. You're painting a picture here, and I'm just yeah. going like, use the blue color. <laughs> use that pretty blue. Do it like this. Hold on, yeah. Paint the <laughs> so, no, you're fine. But so they were, they were right in front of these four dudes. Very frat boy looking. Yeah, they were going to be a problem before the show even started. They were yeah. like clapping and hollering and being and loud yeah. before the show started. And yeah. I don't, those, these guys were so fucking annoying. I don't even want to throw shade on frat people. They were like <laughs> they were like frat dudes at a community college. Yes. Yeah. You know what I mean? They were like like not even a real registered. Not even a good frat. Not even a natural, not even a, like a national charter frat. <laughs> like a frat that they made up. Yeah. yeah. Sigma nigma new new, bro. You know, like they, were, they, they couldn't get into the frats. Yeah, yeah, they bought a condo down the street, and they were like, yeah, Fuck this, you, this is our frat this now. This is our house now. Let's yeah, get hammered yeah, here. Yeah. So they were being increasingly loud throughout the show, and it got to the point where, so Shane was up, our co-headliner, Shane Torres, and Mr. Sean Batten here, mm -hmm. Shane went first on that one, and they were so loud by the time we got first, there. First, wait, but first of the, first of, like, First of how to him and I. Yes. Only I just want to say that only because like I agree with you first. It was like your set and then Drew. Yeah. And then then I think it was Well, that was Jared and Reed did that show. Oh Jared and Reed. And we you no. guys wasn't it? Weren't I you? was on the Friday night. Oh, you were. That's right. Yeah. Who was early? That was oh, that was Drew and yeah. Spencer. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, that was Drew and Spencer. And it seemed like, you know, and then like it's I remember noticing for the first time that they were that there was something up during Corey's set. Okay. Because he was doing what is a smart move, in my opinion, when you've got a rowdy table that's just not going to fucking adhere to any sort of like ruling social or, yeah. contract. He was just doing his con. He he's not a loud guy, no. but he was performing like two notches louder yes. than yes. normal. And I was like, hmm, I see what he's doing. Mm -hmm. And then for Caitlin's set, like I I I, 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 and I, you know, I don't mean this in any other way than the truth. Luckily, you had a musical instrument. Oh yeah, because yeah. it could completely <laughs> drown them out. When, yes. Yeah. Well, yeah. But also, like I had been watching them the whole time, and I was yeah. like, I know how I'm gonna deal with them, and it's very much using my preschool teacher experience. And I yeah. got quiet, and I sat down, and I made them listen in. Yeah. And I gave them some visuals to look at. And yeah, yeah, yeah. I also Shiny was objects. like, this song is for you. It's called Signs of a Douchebag. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 That was but good. But they that were was... crazy. Like I started off being like. Let's get the energy up in here to do my like hey ho bit, and yeah. oh, just yeah. even saying let's get the energy up in here, they started shouting. Yeah, like before I could even get to the second <laughs> sentence, and I was like, okay, let's bring it back down. And yeah, <laughs> they were wild. Yeah, they were they were wild, and yeah, then going in from that into and then to Shane, yeah, to Shane, yeah. and Shane was basically just like. I'm going to stop the show. Wait, how were Here's... they during MK's set? Because he went after me because he was running a little late. MK was right. so loud. Or, like, he's so yeah. energetic and, like, has so much. He just drowned him out. He drowned yeah. him out. You okay. couldn't hear him. Got yeah. Because, okay. like, uh, it was your set when I was, like, fu and they were yelling at the hey-ho thing. I was, yeah. like, fuck. Yeah. yeah. I was, like, I already know how this is going to go. Yeah. Which it went way beyond. But I knew that was going to happen. Then MK just like exploded into the mic, and I was yeah. like, okay. Okay, like, yeah. Good. Okay, that so works. then it was Shane. Yeah. And MK, then, MK is like, he is, his comedy does come out like an orgasm. Yeah. Where it's just like, it's, yeah. like, ah! it's like a bunch of pumps, and they're real <laughs> fast. And it's, like, and it's like, it comes out, it's real quick. Like yeah. He, he moved, he's so fast. Yeah. Yes. yeah just he doesn't even talking about it yeah. made me sneeze, you know? Yeah, a little exactly. mini orgasm right there. Right. There you go. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It doesn't even give you time to like, there's no room for heckling. He just like bop, bop, yeah, bop, bop, yeah, exactly. Bop. Like you can't hear the hecklers even if they're doing it the whole time. Right? Yeah, it drowns them out. But, Sh but Shane Torres, fantastic comedian, uh, brilliant, uh, is a is a little bit more slower paced guy. So yeah, like, yeah. he's having to deal. He, he, and the thing is, <clears throat> Shane did everything you possibly can fucking do from a professional angle. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. Like he he crowd worked him a little bit. He got some laughs off of that. Mm -hmm. He then broke completely and not broke like i'm just saying like broke the fourth wall and did like a not the stop the show broken, but basically, basically yeah. it's just like guys 
you have like talk to them earnestly. Yeah. Like yeah. other people like, paid, man. I've right. right. done my job in eleven months. Right. I want to do my job. Right, yeah. right, right. Other people paid for the show too. Like yeah. me, like right. was earnest with them. Went back into material. Did great jokes. Got the audience on his side. Broke a second time. Yeah. yeah. Like a second time was like, guys, seriously, seriously, it's ruining the show. I don't know. And then like people, I, you can even hear the audience sort of like being like, yeah, agree, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. man, like yeah. Shh, to hand to that to the table. And like I'm back, I'm watching it all. And I'm like, man, he's there's nothing else he can do. Yeah. yeah. Right. And like that place, unfortunately, doesn't have security, and it's not a comedy venue. Right. right. So like they don't know the there's no one going to enforce the rules there because, and that's the problem with a table like this. The moment you start using them to the moment you get a laugh off of something they say the audience i I believe in this is the psychiatry or psychology of that heckler interaction i truly believe audiences laugh when you burn a heckler not a hundred percent because it's funny but mostly because they want to establish to the heckler hey we are on the comedian yes. side. Yeah, like, exactly. Ha, ha, I agree. Shut, Shut up. Shut the yeah. fuck, fuck up. You. Yeah. Nice. But the problem is the heckler will always read it as I made that laugh happen. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So I'm, I'm gonna part keep of the this show. Rolling. Yeah. 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 And like to anyone listening, you gotta understand any fucking comedian can deal with a heckler. It's not hard. It's nothing you will never say something so unique and so original that it will blow the comedian's mind and they won't be able to fucking handle it. Yeah, no shit. It won't yeah. ever happen. We all have a tool belt of shit that we don't want to use. It's there, <laughs> and we get, it bums us out to have to go into the tool belt. Yeah. It's, it's like, fuck, man, I've worked on this material. I have these jokes that I love, but God damn it, now I've got to go into this... I gotta pull out this hammer. Yeah, yeah. Just like, shut the fuck up, hammer. Yeah. When I'm, yeah. when I wanted to show you guys this crazy drill I built. Yeah, <laughs> you know, or this nail gun. I, I have a nail gun here, and you're making me go with a fucking hammer. Yeah. yeah. And like, there's only been one time in New Orleans where this this guy wasn't heckling. He was just performing for his friends. So basically, like everything he said to me made his table laugh so goddamn hard that there was nothing I could. Do you remember that? It was at Lost Love Lounge where I was no. just like. He would say something to me, but it wasn't a direct line at me. It was like more for his for table. His to hear. And he was, and I, I'm not gonna lie, some of it was actually funny. The <laughs> yeah. shit he was saying, and it was just like, all right, this guy's not heckling me, but he's disrupting the show. But he's also performing for his friends, right? And they're all on board laughing. Yeah. So this is just gonna, we're just gonna let this play out, and then eventually the audience is gonna shush him, and then I'll continue. Yeah. But like hecklers, you're never ahead of the game. No. Right. You're net you're there's you're not you're not rolling in with some brilliant line that a comedian's gonna be like, Holy shit, we're in the wrong places. You get up here and I'm gonna <laughs> yeah. I need to be sit there. I, I'm gonna pay your bill because right. that's what that's what all I'm good for. Right. You're like Did everyone stop. I need to repeat what this brilliant line was. Yeah, this guy's yeah, 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 yeah. never yeah. gonna happen. So they were like going at Shane. They were not relenting. No, yeah. not at all. Yeah. Right. And it wasn't even like they were Saying disparaging shit like "fuck you, Shane." They were just being obnoxious. Obnoxious, like just, just very just annoying. Quit talking. Why did they do the shot ski because it disrupted the show as well. Was it did that they one? Do might have been the women. That might oh, have been actually did. right before I went on stage because oh. had to stop, everyone had to stop and watch yeah. them take a shot. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah, I, and, I about and that's that. the thing too. And I and I didn't want to fucking throw. I don't want to. I don't want to throw shade at the venue because it was an awesome venue. But that was also kind of on them, where it's like there has to be an understanding of like, hey, during the show, we're yeah. not bringing out the shots. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Like, do it before the show, do it after the show. But while it's happening, you can have as many shots as you'd like. Yeah. But we're not bringing out a fucking yeah. spectacle for yeah. everyone right. to see. But they don't know that because they're not a comedy venue. Right. right. And also, and like, so they had not... a QR code. It wasn't like they could change the menu or whatever. Right. Right. And it's not, so I'm not putting that on the venue at all. Yeah. That, that also should be on the audience members well, to know. Literally, like, no one else did the entire weekend except for that group. Yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 Anyway. Yeah. There's there's a lot of things with all of this stuff, especially here compared to other places. We're like yeah. learning as we go. You yeah. Know what I mean. Sometimes we're just shooting from the hip. Here. Just shooting <laughs> from the hip. Exactly. Yeah. And it was, and it's like, wait a second. There's a holster. I should put my gun in there. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Instead of just shooting, just opening fire all the goddamn time. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, yeah. It's like it, it, that's also a thing. That's also a thing on audience members. Like, if you're going to a comedy show, go to watch a fucking comedy show. Yeah. Right. Like, if you just want to get fucked up and loud, go to a bar. Yeah, right. that's what they're there for. Yeah, right. You know, if you want to eat, or if you want to eat fucking food, like this is something that bothers me to my fucking core. Comedy clubs that serve full goddamn menus. Like entrees oh, and shit? Yeah, like yeah. steaks and shit? I, like, yeah. I get it. You serve chips and salsa, a basket of fries. 
fine. Yeah. You chicken fingers, fine. Onion, you want to make a little extra money, fine. Sure. When you serve a fucking plate and fork meal, it Gotta hear ruins. people scratching yeah. the plate. Yeah. <laughs> or, or just finger people, food. Yeah. yeah. People aren't laughing. They aren't really paying attention. Yeah. Right. They think they are. I've seen it so many times, the look in a fucking audience's eyes where they don't understand why you, why you are slightly annoyed that they're having a fucking steak <laughs> and a bowl of pasta yeah. and kind of talking to each other. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Where they're yeah. like, well, I'm have, we're having dinner. It's like, no, you're having a fucking dinner and a comedy show. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck is wrong with you? But yeah. I don't know, like most. That's why the shittiest comedy clubs serve food, and the best ones don't. That's a, that's just a fact. I'm yeah. Going, like there are some in between that I know serve food. And they're still great clubs, but the best clubs out there serve finger foods or no foods. Yeah. yeah. Not fucking plates of food. Yeah. It's all. It's always the horse shit. You know, we don't have to. It, I'm not gonna say the name of the club, but let's just say if 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 if, if you hit this on your body, it hurts. It's in your elbow usually. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, like they have like like full menus, whereas like a just in proximity, Comedy Works in Denver, yeah. great comedy club. Yeah. I think the only food items there are like a, a salty crisps. You know yeah. What I mean? yeah, there's little things or fry. Yeah, I I don't. Yeah, have some snack during the show. That's yeah. not going to distract you entirely. Anyway, point being. No, that's yeah. fine. And it's yeah. like, you know, that's another thing we're learning as we go. Yeah. Uh, and I don't think, not too many people were ordering, like, big plates of food that I noticed. I don't think they even that, had. They yeah. didn't have that on yeah, the menu. They didn't have it it was on all menu. very small. Yeah, okay. it was all just small Cold shit. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Like, I think um, the biggest thing was wings. Yeah. 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 They had, like, grilled cheeses and shit like that. Yeah. That's yeah. about it. It was fine. Um, and good food there, actually, surprisingly. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 Um, anyway, so... So after Shane set, Sean comes on, and this is when the shit hit the fan. Yeah, yeah. With these guys, um, yeah. because I mean, God, you were only probably two minutes into your set. You were uh, you were almost exactly two minutes into your set. Cause I remember looking at the time, yeah. like <laughs> while all this all was going yeah. down. Yeah. Do you want to do you want to just say from yours or like? I, mean, I, t- I, I told you guys right, but like I had like a while I was watching Shane set, I was like, "There's nothing. There's no fucking way these guys are gonna quiet down." They're, they're, they're not going to do anything. And Shane has done everything possible. Like, he has said everything that I could possibly say. All I could do is reiterate. It's just not like, so my plan. <laughs> plan B. I went yeah. into this with this very stupid, risky idea. But I was like, what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw them out. Because they're going to say, they're going to start talking. I'm just going to give them the opportunity right off the top. Yeah. And then I'm going to allow the audience to shut them down. Yeah. Because the audience clearly hates them yes and usually that i've only done that once or twice that works totally usually when i've done it like when the when the when the cackler realizes everyone around them even though shane pointed this out and even though people agreed with them for some reason they still saw it as like well they're only i feel like they were like well they're only saying that because he's fucking you know comedian from new york is saying it boo and and they weren't booing him again you were saying they weren't booing him they were just being disruptive and loud Yeah. yeah So I'm like, if I get the entire audience to speak up, yeah, it's going to be weird, but I trust my skill set and my experience enough to recover from it. So I did that. I drew the dude out. I let him talk. I even fucking, in, I even stoked the fire a little bit being like, oh, you, you want it? Because he was like, I could do comedy. Remember that? Yeah. Oh, yeah. did he say oh, that? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Say that. yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I was like, tell us a joke then. Here, here you go, man. You've wanted a spotlight all night. Here it is. Mm-hmm. And he was like, I don't know enough about comedy to have any jokes. That's what he said. Yeah. yeah. It's like, then you can't. And then uh, I don't remember the exact wording, but basically it was like, how does everyone else feel about you guys? And they were all vocal. Everyone was like, yeah. shut the fuck up. Yeah. yeah like, like the whole, it felt like, it, it felt like in the moment, like the best possible case version of what I was hoping. Yeah. Like, oh, people are like the table neck. That one guy was like, they're the fucking worst. Yeah. They're the fucking worst. And I had to be like, they're the worst. Not me. Them. Okay. Just making sure. Yeah. And like. So it happened. I was like, great. And then the the dude even like threw his hands up and like a surrender. It's like, all right, man. So you know, all right, all right, I'll be quiet. And then I was like, great. Success in that front. And then the first fucking word I said after that. Yeah. When I was going into a bit where I was like, I remember the bit where I was going to talk about a recent, being my age. Right away, he says something. He immediately like yeah. fucking... Right away, like ah! I don't even remember what the word was, <laughs> and it felt like I can only describe it as a full-on like switch, like a switch flip in my yeah. head. Oh, you can see it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. What I was like, and I, I remember, I remember thinking it in the moment because I've done this similar things like this before, but never in comedy. 
where I'm like, I'm going to get up right up on this fucking guy, shout loudly in his face, and he's going to physically push me. Mm-hmm. He's going to push me. He's going to make a move. If he hits me, I'll fucking take the hit, even though the doctor said yesterday, don't get hit in the head again. <laughs> I'll block it. He's, the guy's drunk. He'll be sitting down. I had all these. I was like, there's, I'm not going to physically get hurt, but if he physically touches me, because I'm not going to touch him. Right. I'm just going to get close and shout. Mm-hmm. But if he touches me, that is, he, he physically, ha- he has to be removed legally yeah. from the building. Yes. Right. Um, and I got pretty close and was just, you know, shut the fuck up now. <laughs> Stop fucking talking now, you fucking piece of, I just, just I don't no, remember yeah. the actual <laughs> word. <laughs> There's a lot of fucks. It was really, it yeah. was just <laughs> shut the fuck up. Yeah. 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 Shut the fuck up. Yeah. yeah. And he uh, was laughing. Yeah. yeah. And it actually went over well <laughs> yeah, in did. the moment. Yeah, but it was it was clearly. And then I noticed the dude behind him who had identified himself earlier as his brother. Yeah, this was where I was like, oh shit, I didn't factor this in because I, <laughs> look, I'm not a tough guy at all. But like, I have a I have a younger brother who I fucking who is also could physically fuck me up, but I'm still <laughs> protective of because of I'm, course. And if a dude was shouting at my younger brother, I'm at least going to intervene. I'm at least going to stand up and like, hey, hey, hey. Yeah. But this fucking dude didn't do the, shit. The backwards hat dude? Yeah. The one who spit yes. on the floor? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. He didn't do shit. He just watched. And then I noticed another guy came from out of nowhere who seemed to be with the crew. And I was like, okay, I might have just walked into a hornet's nest and might have to <laughs> quickly take on three guys. And they'll probably <laughs> kick my ass. But hey, it'll be worth it. But then instead, what happened was every, the audience and you guys yeah. yes. seemed to then come in and be like, yeah, we're back in this, assholes. Yes. Well, there was yeah. there was one guy who like came and he kind of stood next to you, but not really. And then someone pulled him away. I don't know uh-huh. who. I don't know if it was someone mm. from his group or not. And that's when everyone stood up. Yeah. 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 And that's when everyone kind of like came in on the situation. I was like, oh. I remember sitting there with my phone in my hand and like I was looking at the time and I was like, fuck. <laughs> it's like my only job was to run light tonight. I didn't know I was gonna do this. Yeah, yeah I didn't know I was gonna take a fucking punch to the face. Yeah, maybe. I was like, Fuck. Yeah. So we we kind of, we essentially had to get up and physically almost push these guys out of the venue. Yeah. Yeah. Which probably took. I mean, it God. took a solid five minutes for yeah. everything for them to at least be outside to get out. Yeah. And then yeah. I don't know if any of you noticed. I was watching the whole time because it was hilarious. Once they got outside. The kid that you like got in his face yeah. started fighting his own friends. Yeah, and then <laughs> yeah. and then pushed literally like pushed his girlfriend away and ran down the street like bolted, and then she wow. ran after him. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, was she the one in the white sweater? Was she a blonde? No, no, she wasn't the. There was like the tall blonde one yeah. with the white. No, it wasn't her. She was really small. I remember the like oh, no, one. the small blonde is the one that I got in between. <laughs> like oh yeah, okay, because she like the. I was watching the women because I was like, the men will handle the men, yeah. but the the girlfriends are like also an issue. Yeah, right. um, and they had like dispersed and were like, <laughs> the one girl that I like got in between her and the other table, other like couch table yeah, behind yes. them. She was just being like, you don't have to be mean about it. Yeah, I remember that. <laughs> like, get, the, get your coat. And I just yeah. like got in between them. And then the table with the on the couch was like, thank you. Yeah. We just wanna we just wanna watch the show. Right. I mean, that's for, such a great I, line though. Dude, get your coat. Get your coat. <laughs> oh I can honestly say for the first time in a long time on stage, because I, I, I went back on stage. Yeah, yeah. you just sat yeah. on the stage. You sat down and, and you're like, I'm gonna you literally went, I'm gonna let this happen. Yeah. 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 Well, cause I was like, for the, for, I was like, I don't know what to do. It's like, part of me is like, as a comedian, should I be providing commentary? <laughs> right. But then part of me was like, if I provide commentary, that might just, it's re- fucking it would re engage them. Might re- yeah. and, and exactly. So I was like, no. I gotta just, I did this. I did this. I have to, cause I, for 13 milliseconds, thought the show's over, walk off stage, help mm. that, get, get involved more, cause you started this. Yeah. But then immediately was like, no, you started this. People are paid to see a show. Yeah. So right. you fucking sit up here and own this. Yeah. yeah. And if and when this situation resolves itself, you give them a show. Yeah. yeah. You don't fucking you back the right out. Thing. And, it, and it helped to like yeah. embarrass them a little bit to get yeah. them out. Because it's like, well, everyone paid for this and we're just going to sit and wait until you're gone. And then we're going to start again. Yeah. 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 You know what I mean? And so that's when everybody was like, seriously, get out. Yeah, we want to see fuck. this show. Yeah. The one thing, too, that. There's one person in that whole group that I have, like, 
so much fucking pride for like that good for you was the one girl that paid for fucking everything yeah, yeah, represent she was, she's everything. like i'm gonna sit and wait till they go and then i'm gonna pay for everything paid, and leave not only did she pay you. for both of the tables mm-hmm. but she paid everyone's tab because also the dudes tried to walk out on their fucking tab yeah, yeah of course they of course did. they did and like that's the thing like yeah and then afterwards what was super fucking funny was starting the show I could still tell of the of the hundred percent of the audience left, there was about twenty five percent of that audience that hated me. Hated me. <laughs> well, that's the so? thing. That whole audience, Absolutely. like there was some good tables, but there was also the table yeah. with all the hats, the cowboy boy, the and, cowboy. Yeah. and they oh, sucked yeah. too, and were kind of heckly as well. And, yeah, yeah. yeah, it yeah. wasn't a great. There was, there, I could but tell. Just if anyone fucking hated everything yeah. I was saying, yeah. yeah. If anyone is listening to yeah. this podcast. <laughs> From that audience, that was a good audience member. Thank you, and I'm sorry. Oh, no, no, because there were, because, because, but that's what I'm saying. The other 75% of that audience yeah. were, re- like, I was like, they were awesome. Yeah. Yeah. They yeah. were like really fucking like, thank you. Like, that one dude was like, thank you for doing that. Yeah. You know? And I really um, liked all the people that came and filled that front table. So it wasn't well, just that was like all empty. comedians. That was fucking Kyle. Was, no, 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 that was, that was like, a, that was like, yeah. that was like, like that all Kaylin's friends. Okay. Yeah. That yeah, was cool. Like, friends and, yeah. Of Steamboat Comedy. Yeah. Open micers and stuff. Yeah. There. And and just because I want to close the book on these guys, so what then happened is oh, those no. dudes, after fighting each other and running away and all that shit, proceeded to call the bar oh, yeah. a dozen times yeah. and leave threatening messages, and then start talking. And it was obviously the brother talking about how we almost made his younger brother kill himself. Yeah, it's like a weird guilt. Like you're trying to guilt killed- us now. Like, yeah, what I was the like, fuck? I'm just gonna throw this out there. I, 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 some, I believe you said this, Caitlin. It was like. If your brother is actually actually tried to kill himself and, and all you're doing is calling the bar yeah. repeatedly and <laughs> threatening yell at it, the you're, 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 a shitty brother. you're a shitty brother. Yeah. Like, yeah. And also, I look, I do. I hope by all things powerful and cosmic that that dude did not actually try and kill himself yeah. and right. never does actually do that to himself. I'm not on board with that. I no. don't think anybody should. But if he ha- is in a sort of mental state where that's an option, you shouldn't have him... Don't, front row yeah, don't bring shit, shit face. face yeah <laughs> fucking you know, just no at kidding. any kind of show yeah like get him some help get him in a better place yeah uh, but like, real and also like the fact that you're calling the venue i think they called him about like a lot over a dozen a bunch times, of times. Yeah. and they left a bunch of voicemails and stuff too yeah. when they quit picking up yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah like that tells me that no everything you're saying is bullshit if that's all you have time to do is call and leave these threatening messages yeah. but they started to leave the, it's funny because towards the end they started to give more and more insight yeah. Into it's which, uh, but yeah, it was into like oh that you guys are just a f- fucked up group of yeah. Like I, I I hope you're all okay. I hope you made it back to Jersey safely. But like seriously, check yourselves before going out in public shit faced again. Yeah. yeah. Please. Yeah. Like learn to handle that shit. It was, yeah. It was fucking it, because it, it was, was like for anyone listening to this, if we have not driven the point home enough, <laughs> there it, it was like if you're a chef. Imagine if every fucking dish you tried to cook, someone barged in and vomited all over. It. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, no right. shit. If you, Spit on it. Any job you do. If you're a musician, imagine people just throwing tennis balls at you while you were trying to tune up. Like, yeah. Yeah. if you're a fucking any any, imagine any profession. If while you are trying to do the thing that people pay you to do your profession for, someone is actively urinating and heaving fucking sandwich bags full of shit at you. Yes. Yeah. Verbally. Yeah. That's what these that table was doing. Like, no one could do what they could. And that's the thing. There were a couple of audience members being like, just ignore them. It's like, that's impossible. Yeah, yeah. that can't happen. It's, it's like, he's like right here in right, front of me. Yeah, it's like, it, and there, I can tell there's audience members who get annoyed by that because they can't, to them, it's like, but this is what comedians deal with. And it's like, no, it no. isn't. No. It just looks this way from shitty comedians who post videos of hecklers being thrown out because that's all because some for some reason i think they, we all have a name in our but head. it's like that's not that's not an art form that's a fucking that's all staged or made to look cooler than it is yeah, yeah. or forcing it like yeah. making it happen it's like no way. comedian wants to deal with a fucking rowdy ass table that no. won't shut the fuck up because at a certain point it's no longer a give and take right. it's no longer a balance and the times that it's been or the times where you've seen it done by great comedians Believe you me, that situation ended at the right fucking moment and was captured on camera and made to look way cooler than it was. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, not made to look way cooler. It just looks way cooler because more smooth all you than, see is yeah. the, you see the little piece of it, not right. the whole fucking puzzle. Yeah, because it, part that worked. Because if, you, yeah. if you're dealing with like a when a great comedian did it, 
uh, it was like, oh, that great comedian had the chops mm. to make to make this look easy. But trust me, they hated it too. Yeah. yeah. And like, I fucking just it, it it's it's so that was what I'm I, I'm a little heated now because that was the one thing that like <laughs> that was the one thing right of now, the whole about night it. that pissed me off was that other table to the right of them who kept being like, why are you? <clears throat> how, how long is this going to keep happening? Just don't acknowledge them. And it's like I've had a similar situations before where you're dealing with a, sh- a, loud, a loud, shouty person and other tables are like, they're just just we don't care about them. And it's like, but you don't understand that I can't do no comedian can do their fucking I can't what just we're right. here to do. Just, you can't ignore the piss and bags of shit. Yeah. You can't, like, you can't. It's like the chef analogy. Yeah. It's like someone's barfing on the plates, and there's another guy that's like, it's just barf. What's yeah. wrong with barf? It's just regurgitated food. Yeah. yeah. It's, like, it's, like, well, it's all food, whatever. Yeah. I can't make the goddamn dish when there's fucking stomach bile yeah. in the saute pan. <laughs> like that. And anyway, I just wanted to drive that home. But, uh, but, yes. but I wanted to close the book on that because the next show. Next show was in my, that it was my favorite show of Me the whole. Me too. Night. You think yeah. so? Yeah, yeah, it was great. I was thinking about how crazy it would have been if the shows were flipped because that's how what it normally is. Normally, the early Saturday show is great, and the late night is really drunk is and awful and rowdy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, and instead, it was the other way around, and I'm so glad because we got to end on like a wonderful audience and a really high note. Yes. Yeah. And they had the the big party that was right in front. Yes, the same they were, table. They were yes. And they were talking and stuff, but they were way more like you'd be like, "All right, that's too much." And they'd be like, "Oh, okay." Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. They they knew how to back up. Yeah, it was like they understood. Yeah, it was to fun. A point. I had a lot yeah. of fun with them. They were also like, I mean, MK pointed this out uh, after his set. He's like, "Oh my God, they're they're the artsy, they're the they're the artsy drunks." Yes. Oh yeah. Where he's like, oh okay, so they're the. the... They were a big family too, of like all different ages. Yeah. Yeah. No, you're talking about the whole audience. Oh yeah. He was like, they're all. You could tell they're all. These are all the like artsy drunks, like the venue owners and like the. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's like it was like, but like they were fun. They were like, yes, they were bomb. They were a little boisterous at times. Yeah. But they would also like listen. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And and that's what I hate. When audience comedy audience members aren't willing to, when they're like, there needs to be a punchline every. Four seconds. Yeah. It's like, sure. If that's what there are comics who can do that. I'm not one of them. Yeah. You're gonna have to listen for <laughs> gonna be some setup. Twenty five to thirty seconds. Mm-hmm. You know, but they would. They would like Yeah. Yeah. Well that was that show sold out way before all the other ones did. So that was like the people who really oh, wanted to go. Oh, okay. that's that's cool. It was also a lot of like people that we know, friends of ours mm-hmm. who like hadn't seen us and things. So yeah. that was best case audience basically was yeah. that saturday night one. yeah yeah it's yeah, been a sure. long time since i had a show where i stepped on my own laughs because the structure of the song required me to start singing again yeah and they were yeah. still laughing like that is the best feeling in the world where i'm like <laughs> i'm the one fucking this up because you guys like me too much yeah um and it's been a really long time since yeah. i got yeah. to do that so yeah it's awesome that it's audience. a that's a good feeling for sure mm-hmm. yeah and yeah. you had like basically like a not a standing O, but they cheered so hard that it like cut you out. It was, it was I think it was the shortest because I went first out of Shane and I. Yeah, yeah. yeah you only went show. like fifteen or something, and you were just like, I'm gonna stop it. Well, because it was like I, I was trying to be conscious of time. You, and, you got to eighteen minutes. Yeah, and I remember like I did this bit, and they reacted so big that I was like, okay, wait, I don't want to go over time, but also there's like one more line or two more lines of this joke. Yeah. Like like tags really yeah but I was like I can't even do the tags this reaction's so big that I, this is it I got this is yeah. it yeah there you go. I did I, it I don't want to run time <laughs> and also like I don't this is like I remember one person going like that's too good <laughs> <laughs> I was like <laughs> you're right but it's gonna be good then I thank you <laughs> and then I mean trust me I beat myself up afterwards being like. Yeah, goddamn! You should have just done those tags. No, you should have just no. done it. But I know. But it's that that one. It was like, yeah, they laughed so big, and they're like, "That's too good." <laughs> I'm like, oh, my heart's warm again. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I feel I'm connected to humanity once again. <laughs> we all do have purpose. I'm gonna go find those Jersey people and buy them the sub, a Jersey Mike sub. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, but yeah, it was it was definitely. Yeah, that show, and then Shane had a fucking fantastic set yep. afterwards. Yeah, yeah, that everybody show ended did great. On this that great, show, yeah. Yeah. yeah, like, yay, what a way to end. Yeah, how? What should we do? Should we go get megaton bomb wasted? Like, should we go get like 
And the answer was yes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Let's go drink all the shit we can. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. In a can, preferably. In a can. Yes. <laughs> or peanut butter whiskey, either yeah. way. Yes. Which, but but I, still be happy, not show up at a show and yell at a comedian. Like, be happy drunks. Yes. yes. Yeah. Not like New Jersey drunks. Yeah. And yeah. I got it. And I owe uh, Steamboat Whiskey Company an apology because all, all weekend I was just taking a raw fucking liquidy dump all over <laughs> metaphorically all over peanut butter whiskey as a concept I was like, <laughs> what why and then i actually tried it and was like so good this it was really fan good. fucking tactic. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> it's really good this is i would dr- i want to drink i like it's too good yeah yeah it like, tastes like waffle crisp it's, it's delicious really yeah. like cereal. Yeah. Yeah. it's like yeah. dangerously delicious oh, oh yeah, yeah. yeah, so yeah. Like, it doesn't even taste like booze no, no. yeah yeah, yeah. It, yeah, it is dangerous. So if you're yeah. listening to this, go get some. And Sticky go fingers. It's Sticky called. fingers. And Steam support the staff was awesome. The yeah. staff was super yeah. cool. Staff was great. Staff was super fun. Yeah, cool. for them too. Like they had never done Shout anything out to Corey. like this Shout before. Out to other Corey, Corey and Keith and uh, Dermot. Dermot. Yes, yeah. thank you. I. I was about to I say can, Denton. I was, I was going to say I can right. never remember his fucking. I'm Dermot. the same way. I'm always like, it's something like that. Yeah. I just don't remember fully. Yeah. Ask him. Ask him why he plays the upright bass. Yes, you'll get a great story. And, then, and he's part of Buffalo Commons, which is a yeah. great band here in town. Yeah. all over the place. Yeah. So, but that's that. Like, I look back on that weekend, and I'm like, that was a full on adventure. It was yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> whirlwind of emotions. Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but it was fun. I, mean, I think like, it went great, man. You look I mean, back and you're like, man, that's it's kind of like a map for how life is going to be. Like sometimes people, you're going to feel not as loved. Sometimes you're going to feel like, ah, I'm great. And then you're going to feel hated. And then you're going to feel yeah. loved again. And it's like, sometimes you have to yell in people's faces. Sometimes yeah. you go to New Jersey and you yeah. hate it. Yeah. 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 Sometimes you're going to, sometimes you're going to give people, uh, you want to give more, but they're like, that's too much. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if I can take anymore <laughs> from you anyway. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and there'll always be music. Mm-hmm. Yep. And Some of it's really bad from a guy with an injured thumb yeah. <laughs> who doesn't practice. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Oh. It still got it got a good reaction, yeah. but like yeah. I was so like my You're, anxiety I from struggling was like through the roof. I could I tell you. Calm was down. I'm glad you did it. You gotta inside. take those risks. Yeah, take a risk. Yeah. Just, like I said, everyone was was laughing along through it, yeah. so it went well. It was awesome. It was. Uh, but that's what I love about this town. I hope it just. I hope they don't pump. Corporations don't pump too much fuck you money into this yeah. place and turn it into another another veil or something. Starbucks or, fucking uh, yeah yeah just call it Starbucks Springs yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. almost like, as good as Handjob Springs yeah. we're working on that one yeah. what's okay. the deal with Handjob <laughs> <laughs> I mean all right that was such a uh, uh, ladies and gentlemen of Steamboat Springs Colorado this is to announce your candidate for mayor M K Paulson yeah. yeah yes please yeah uh, <laughs> look him up. But yeah, that's it's just I, I love I love that's why I love coming here because it's like it is still like such a new scene and there's so because like yeah yeah in the moment excuse me that early Saturday show sucked but I would not change anything about it no, I would not take know. it back for anything it yeah. was an experience we all learned from it I was hopefully say, those yeah. guys learned from it and I, you know those girls you know their girlfriends learned from it yeah, yeah. you know they're like what the <laughs> fuck is wrong with these I don't these? know I still think that petite blonde is gonna go around and be like you don't have to be mean about things well that's <laughs> yeah why is everyone so mean to us like yeah. well you're being mean yeah. so it's cause you suck it's yeah. cause you suck yeah, yeah, I yeah. hope that other girl gets better friends <laughs> I know I yeah, yeah. the one cool one yeah shout out friends. to the girl paid for everything get new friends yeah. and better people in your life yeah. yeah that should be another that should be another that's why, like, I don't love just using Karen to describe all shitty, because it's like I know some decent Karens, yeah, some good Karens, yeah. <laughs> some good Karens. And it's there. like, but literally like, at the show was a great Karen, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Karen Wachtel, <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, of Denver Comedy Fe- of uh, High Plains Comedy Festival. Yeah, shout out to Karen. Okay, shout out, thanks for coming, uh, and wearing a mask and yeah. being safe. Yeah, uh, but also, yeah, like that. It's instead of a Karen, she's like, oh, we have a we have a petite blonde over there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Even if they're not a petite blonde, it's like, oh, it's a petite blonde. Yep. Yeah. They're, uh, uh, it's because your hair is not that color. That, the, but I, <laughs> but I dyed my hair. Why is everyone so mean? Like, maybe that's why. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Maybe that's why. Yeah. You did this to yourself. So you're maybe. a dumb poser. <laughs> <laughs> maybe your expectations that everyone should praise you based on how you fucking look are the problem. Yeah. <laughs> maybe you should get a thing called a personality, perhaps. Yeah. Maybe you should spend less time working on your fucking uh, Instagram page. On the Instagram butt model page. Yeah, yeah, cranking out selfies with filters of she funny has ears. No butt. 
No, you know what's you know they're <laughs> yeah. No, you're right. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Not to not okay. Yeah. Women supporting women here, but like sometimes people are mean for a, a good reason. Yeah. <laughs> like sometimes that's a sign that you should shut the fuck up. Yes. Yeah. Sometimes you're being a fucking Jimmy Jack. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know. Yeah. You yeah whatever the fuck that is. Yeah. You got <laughs> Jimmy Jacks. You got Yoink Yoinks, and you got Tug of Muffins. <laughs> T- Tug of yeah. Muffins. Right? <laughs> Uh, Jimmy Jacks, like the guy, like a guy who's gonna like fucking act tough until you make eye contact with him. He's gonna shit the fuck down. <laughs> All right, a tug of muffin, someone who's like not really offended but gets offended. Like, oh. You know what I mean? Because it's like a, an emotional reaction and like a high for them. Like, fucking tug a muffin. And a yoink, yoink, does that even need explanation? No, I think I know exactly <laughs> you know what, what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> you get it? I just make up my own fucking insult words. Fucking Johnny, Johnny V down there with the, he's nah. got the long shirt, he's got the big chain. That's a fucking yoink over there, boy. <laughs> but also there's yoinks and then there's yoink, yoinks. You can only go up to two yoinks. You go up to, there's no yoink, yoink, yoink. By the time you get to that third yoink, there's too much yoink. It's too much. It's too much. Yeah. yeah. You're going to do another you got a yoink universe. You got a yoink, yoink, you know? Yoinks are actually worse than yoink yoinks because yoink yoinks are so fucking ridiculous they're harmless. A yoink just has enough ridiculousness in them to possibly fuck everybody's night up. Yeah, <laughs> you know. I feel that. I respect the yoink yoink more than the yoink. I'm saying that. Yeah, you at least they're committing first. to the second yoink. Yeah, yeah. they're going full yoink. Yeah, it was oh, wait, a conscious decision. We decided last night. What was the one we there that we're gonna start being like? Oh, we got a McGee over here. Oh, McGee's and Larue's. Oh yeah. yeah. But- wait, wait, yeah. Hold on. Yeah, Jared. What the fuck is a Larue? A shitty French name. I know, but, <laughs> but is that a thing you do? No, about? that's literally something that I randomly said one day. I forget, like shitbag Larue over there. I was like, <laughs> yeah. 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 actually, McGee or Larue on the end is you, just the best. You know what I think it was? I listened to fucking Bobcat, one of Bobcat's albums recently, yeah. and I think I just heard him say the name Larue, and I just threw some shit on top of it, and I was like, that's a thing now. Yeah. <laughs> There you go. You got LaRue's and McGee's as well. Mm-hmm, man, the yoink, yoink, yoink LaRue over here. Yeah. Oh, about Messing dude, up the show. Dude, if you see a uh, fucking yoink, yoink LaRue, take him down. <laughs> yeah, they're too Just, dangerous to be left alone. He could take down a whole town. That guy might fucking, the bar. That guy might create his own fault line. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? You got a yoink, yoink LaRue walking around. Or, or, hear him out. <laughs> but be ready. Be yeah. ready to be say, ready for danger. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Hand, hand on fucking pistol, you know? Yes. Like, Hand on the yeah, or 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 you know taser, sure. or the phone, or your balls, or his balls, his balls, or their preferably. balls. You're just holding his balls while he's like trying to say what he's trying yeah. to say. Yeah, he's just ready to squeeze. It, like, you're like, make me. I'll do it. That should be. I'll a, yank on this yoink. That should saying? be a thing when dudes start fighting. In common practice instead of like. Only, but it's like, all right, everyone grab each other's balls. Yeah. <laughs> and now we're all going to talk. <laughs> yeah. All right. We're all going to listen because we've all got each other's balls. <laughs> and that's what we wanted. We all kind of wanted this. We all, this is why yes. we're fighting is we all kind of wanted this. <laughs> so let's just listen to what each other has to say and discuss this with each other's balls in our hands. Like men. <laughs> like men. <laughs> like true males. <laughs> Primitive males. Yes. yes. Mm-hmm. And the same thing goes for women. No. No. <laughs> you got a hand on a titty. Like, I'll twist it. No. I think for women, there should be like a, like a rugby drill. Like, okay, go tackle this thing. Or like, here's some boxing gloves. Like, get that anger out. Yeah, actually. Before wh- you say something really cruel yeah. that hurts someone in their soul yeah. and haunts them for the rest of their life. Yeah. Yeah. yeah women, sh- women should actually fight it out. Men shouldn't. Right. We should hold each other's balls and discuss things. Yeah. <laughs> Women no, should actually. I don't mean like, fighting each other. I mean, like, get out that anger in like, a sport. Yeah, go punch a wall yeah, for yeah. 10 have minutes. You ever, have you, wait, Caitlin, have you ever. You've seen it. I know you have, but right. you got. Have you ever seen a, f- a female on female fight? In yeah. Public? Oh, oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, in yeah. public? Fuck yeah. Oh, yeah. I've yeah. seen that it's more psycho. than. It's than psycho. Dudes. Yeah. Yes. Hair pulling is like. It's it's like immediately you're into clinch. Yeah. It's like they both grab a hair. Straight up, like, over the top. Oh, yeah. Coming from the rafters. Yeah. Shit fucking just swing a hammer fist downtown. Scary. Yeah, yeah, because there's a lot of pent up. Yes, anger. That's what I'm saying. Go half. play some rugby. Yes, Get yeah. To boxing. Yeah, I actually think that should be like whenever you hear, because I know like my sister. I have two nieces, and my sister always talks about like, I think I want to put them in like, you know, kung fu or mm-hmm. or like karate classes yeah. or like you know, Krav Maga. Give them yeah. some yeah. sort of like, yeah. and like I know that like you hear. I think it's like a knee jerk. A lot of moms are like, when you have a daughter, you probably think like dance or some sort of, you know, and I get it for fit, but it's like, you know, put, put those little girls and fucking learn, let them learn to fight from a young age yeah, and yeah. get out their aggression from a young age. Sure. Like, yeah. And like, I think everybody should. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You know? For real. Exactly. 
That actually should be a thing. Like, that should be something that's taught instead of fucking P.E. where you just play volleyball or something. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like, not shitting on volleyball, but it's a, it doesn't exactly Love volleyball. It, it doesn't exactly yeah. inject you with life skills. <laughs> you know, it's a great opportunity to wear uh, bikini bottoms or take your shirt off if you're a dude. I do spike both. a fall. But instead, if you're like, hey, from, from six, we're all going to do fucking Kenpo or like yeah. actual karate and learn yeah. like, A, how to be in control of your body, but B, discipline, listening, yeah. balance from a young age. Keeps in you high humble school, too. Yeah. In high school. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And also, yeah, now you're not, there's not going to be as much bullying because now there's a kid who may be a nerd, but he knows how to fucking chop. Yeah. Right. Yeah. You know? And even like you thought you were a tough guy, but you know that every once in a while, some guy that you think you can beat yeah. puts you in a position where you're like, oh, I can break my arm or whatever. Yeah, exactly. You know? And every high school needs the karate coach. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> needs it needs like, some Cobra Kai. They need yeah. Johnny from Cobra Kai. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Every or, or, single one. Or those guys need it too. But yeah, just, I don't know. Karate, karate, in, karate in schools. No more prayer. Karate in schools. <laughs> yeah. I agree. Yeah. I'm behind this. Meditation. How about that? Is that a prayer? Meditate, Meditation. karate, yeah. start every day. I'm on board. Move yep. to Japan. Move I'm to telling Japan. you, everyone. <laughs> We're just going to be Japan. Now. Yeah, America <laughs> America will be Japan. Yeah. Yes. World War II is useless <laughs> yeah. for one small aspect of it. Oh, man. Well, all right. We've been well, doing this for a minute. Do, all we right, got, yeah. uh, do we got any other final wrap-up summaries of the weekend? Anything uh, you want to say? Any thoughts? Um I love this place. I'm buying property. I don't. I can't afford it, but I'm gonna do it. So. Bitcoin's going up. We'll be Bitcoin's good. Bitcoin's going up, and yeah, we should Invest just in be crypto. here more often. And anyone who's never been here that's listening to this podcast, get your fucking butt here. Get here. Get but, the steamboat, baby. But don't show up looking for chain restaurants <laughs> and wanting to get drunk. Remember, just because you're a tourist doesn't mean you're invincible. Just because you're spending money in a town doesn't mean you get to fuck it up. Yeah, yeah right. Come here to appreciate yeah. it. It's beautiful. Uh, Texans. Okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> also, uh, move here, and so that America doesn't have to become Japan. We can just become America, but the version that everyone hopes it would be, uh, where we have karate in schools. Yes. Yeah. There we go. Uh, <laughs> and everyone's chill. The whole point of and Desperation Day three is karate in schools. Yeah. That's what we were. The really whole point on. of Desperation three day. <laughs> Is for me to say it like a British person. <laughs> Inspiration three day. Um, yeah, it's 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 a fucking. I I love Steamboat Sprigs. I love you guys. I love being here. Uh, we're gonna. Caitlin's gonna buy property. I'm gonna live on it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna be the caretaker. That yeah. checks out. I don't have any money, but I will be there. Yeah. Uh, yeah, great. We appreciate you guys coming out here yeah. again and being like great ambassadors for us. And other sure. scenes. I was yeah. gonna say you guys yeah. are definitely a huge help with it's, all this. I mean, it's been amazing. It's awesome. Yeah, I mean, this whole thing started where you're just like, "Hey, you should do a show with Shane Torres. I'm gonna send you uh, his number." Yeah. Oh yeah. Like, okay. Like, oh, yeah. Oh, uh, is it cool. <laughs> I, remember, I remember when you walked out of your bedroom and you're like, "Dude, you'll never fucking believe who just texted me." <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, it's just funny because you were like, "I'm gonna give him your number." And like 30 seconds later, it's like, "Hey, this is Shane Torres." And I was like, yeah. "Oh, all right. I guess yeah. we're doing this." <laughs> yep. Hi. <laughs> Hello. Yeah. Well, I'm going to premature. I mean, I, I think leave this in. I'm going to prematurely announce. Look out for July's. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. We got some things in the works, baby. Got an idea. Shit, uh, am I out of the loop on this one? Yeah, no. you are. Damn I'll tell it. you. No, we'll yeah. <laughs> we just we wanted to see Seamboat in the summer, so we're going to come back. Hell yeah. yeah. Yes. Seamboat in the summer is amazing. And bring some friends. When bring some friends. <laughs> yeah. Hell yeah. Yes. All right, cool. Thanks so much for listening, guys. We love you. Thanks for coming out to the shows. We will see you next time. Rain or shine, it's here to make you laugh. It's the Steamboat Comedy Podcast. It's the Steamboat Comedy.